Hello, I'm going to break my own bread. Um, I always do that. And I want to show you the most easy way to bake your bread. Um, ik ga mijn eigen brood bakken, dat doe ik altijd. En ik ga jullie een hele simpele manier laten zien. The only thing you need are four ingredients for the basis: flour, warm water, yeast en salt. En in Dutch. De enige vier dingen die je nodig hebt voor de basis zijn meel, bloem, warm water, gist en zout. You can put a lot of other things in there to make it more interesting and um, well, to your taste, like muesli or some flower seeds that I will do today, but you don't have to do that. Je kan er van alles in doen uh, om het naar je smaak te maken, zoals muesli of um, zonnebloempitjes, maar het hoeft niet. Okay, well let's start. I'll show you what I do. I don't measure anymore. Ik uh, weeg niet meer af. Maar in this uh, silo is approximately 2 kilos. Um, hier zit ongeveer 2 kilo in. And I'll use 2 thirds of it. So what is that? One and a half kilo for two breads. Ongeveer anderhalf kilo bloem for twee broden. Okay. Then this is a um, uh, dinner spoon, 15 milliliters approximately, 15 milliliter zout, salt. I use dry yeast because I can buy um, bigger, um, bigger amounts. Um, this is the same amount, 15 milliliters, but I use just a little less of it. Right? Now I begin to stir this. And the warm water must be pretty warm that you can put your finger in it's not too hot you don't burn yourself but that's a good temperature you need it for the for the yeast the water moet uh, goed warm zijn uh, maar je moet niet je vingers staan branden and then you're going to stir this nope. I'm not going to knead this bread ik ga het niet kneden it will take about two minutes to make. It will take over two minutes in the slot om dit to make the basis. I make it a little wetter than uh, than you use it. Used to make it when you want to knead your bread. I make it iets natter than um, what you gewoon doet als je het kneedt. You see, it's about a liter. Over a liter water. Now it's coming. You want to mix all the ingredients, but you don't want to have it too dry, so it becomes a bowl. It's too heavy to um, to stir. You will all ingredients, uh, all ingredients, goed mengen, mengen. Maar het moet geen harde bal worden, want dan lukt dat niet met een uh, spatel. Well, this is about uh, okay. Done. Now I'll show you what I do next. Leave this alone. Then let's go here. This is my. Um, Apple juice are made yesterday. Yeah, right. Then I have to um, cast iron forms. Giet ijzer vormen heb ik. That I like best to work with. Normally I use olive oil, but I don't have it now, so I use um, 
seed oil. Doesn't matter really because it's only to make sure that the bread doesn't um, that it does come out. <coughs> Normal brush that I bought in um, a painting uh, store. Don't need to expensive things. Okay, that's it. Well, and then we take the the dough. Divide it in two, just let it come out. There we go. Now I'll let this rest until it. Um, it rises up till here. Doesn't really matter the time. You can say it's an hour. Sometimes it's just half an hour. It depends how warm it is in the kitchen, how warm the water was that I used. Uh, dus ik, uh, ik laat het rijzen totdat het ongeveer op de rand zit, net eroverheen. Uh, de ene keer is dan een uur, de andere keer is dat drie kwartier. Het maakt niet uit, een half uur. Het ligt aan de warmte in mijn keuken. Het ligt aan, uh, aan de warmte van het water. Dus ik kijk nooit zo naar de tijd. En I have an oven that I um, warm with wood, but you don't have to have that, of course. It's very hot. It's uh, making a second round, <laughs> but it's good to bake your bread between 250 and 300 degrees. You really need that heat to uh, make a good bread because it uh, otherwise will dry out and it won't be tasty. But I'll show you that in the second part uh, of the of this movie. And well, I want to show you something else. We also make our own cheese. And we do that every week too. Two pieces. Oh, why too? We don't eat a lot of cheese, but we uh, use it uh, well to trade with the neighbors for wood or for other things like milk. Um, well, that's uh, for part one. See you in part two.